Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about how to stack graphs. When I talk about stacking graphs, I mean putting position graphs, velocity graphs, and acceleration graphs all on top of each other to see how each one looks um, at the same time. So all of these times uh, line up, so this is the t-axis, the time axis, and um, this over here is position, this is velocity, and this is acceleration. Now, say I were to draw um, a p change in position graph that looks like this. So this is position versus time, um, and then we're going to analyze it and draw these next two graphs as well. So if we were to draw velocity, let's see um, this first part right here, this curve. This is constantly increasing velocity, so constant acceleration and um, increasing velocity. So this is going to look like this. The velocity is going to be increasing until this point right here where the velocity is zero. Now at these points, uh, these are called cusps, where the derivative of a function cannot be taken. And that's just a way of saying that the slope or the rate of change, the slope of the rate of change cannot be taken. And therefore we just have to assume that the change is instantaneous. And we don't necessarily have to graph it on, like our, uh, for example, our acceleration graph. So velocity um, is going to drop down to zero because uh, at this point, um, position is not changing. Between here and here, position is not changing. So velocity is zero. Here, position is going in the negative direction and therefore velocity is negative throughout this entire thing because it's going down and that's the slope of the line. Now here we have position that is increasing at a very fast rate and then getting slower and um, changing later at a slope of zero. So therefore, um, it, it suddenly our velocity shoots up to a positive and then it slowly goes back down to zero as we reach this part right here. As we can see, this slope is zero if we were to take the tangent line, which we learned about in one of the previous videos. Now, if we were to take uh, the ex if we were to draw the acceleration graph of this, we would look at uh, this part right here of the velocity. This is constant acceleration because velocity is increasing. Therefore, it's positive for this part. Here, however, velocity is not changing, and so acceleration is zero. Again, we have two more cusps, and then we have this line that goes vertical. So we don't have to plot anything there, because that's mathematically impossible. So we're going to continue with an acceleration of zero, because velocity is not changing here, and it's not changing there. And here, velocity is decreasing, and therefore our acceleration is going to be decreasing. Now the great thing about this is that we can take a line here, and we can draw a line through any time, and see exactly how uh, each of uh, the position, velocity, and acceleration change because our graphs are stacked.